Okay, so it's been a worrying time for anybody in the niche website building game and myself included in that. So to give you an update in this video, I'm gonna let you know what's happening with my websites. And I'm also gonna talk about a little worrying trend that I'm seeing at the moment, which is coming off the back of the helpful content update and particularly if your site was hit. So first of all, welcome to the channel. My name's Carl, I'm an affiliate marketer here in the UK. I've been building websites and sharing my information on YouTube for over five years now. So if that's something you're interested in, you're building a website or you're looking to make money online, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video at the end of it, give it a thumbs up and comment. It really does help my channel out. So first of all, let's talk about my websites. You'll know over the past years, I've been building and selling websites and I've narrowed my portfolio down really to two websites, both in the travel niche. Now to give you a bit of context, both was built very differently. My number one website, which I thought was always gonna be my main focus, has been built with a blog style website in mind. That's basically answering search queries, doing best X for Y product reviews, and building it like a general niche blog website. I've used primarily human written content. There's around 900 articles on the site. It's around two years old now, and it has a domain authority currently of around 22. Now, as I said, this has been built very much with a blog in mind. We've been building out the structure of the website around keywords and writing the usual information and product review content. Now on this website, I have done a lot of keyword research and we are targeting keywords. We're also adding backlinks as well to boost up the overall authority and really create a strong, decent blog website. Now, Travel Website 2 was different. Travel Website 2, we didn't build it as a blog. It was more of a social media story-based articles. So we didn't do too much keyword research. We would just see a topic that was maybe trending and we would write about that topic. So it was very much like a story and educational, interesting kind of website. The kind of website that you go on and you really get hooked into the storyline and get really involved in the topics. Now I built these websites separately and in two different manners for such an occasion like this Google Core update so that if anything was targeted, I would have thought that I have one site that might get hit and one site that would not get hit. Now, as it happens, both these websites have been hit. Like I say, two totally different types of websites, two totally different concepts, one using backlinks, one not using backlinks, one using keyword research, one using story and trending and social media topics. So totally different. Both sites have been hit. And to give you an update on how those sites are doing, Travel Website A, which is the general blog built with backlinks and the usual methods we've always used, was at around 70,000 page views. That was before the helpful content update. On the first day of the helpful content update rolled out, and there's been many updates throughout the months. We're currently in one at the moment, but the one that happened in September for the first few days, nothing happened to my website. And then 10 days into the actual update, I think it had four days left. I thought, phew, I'm over this. I've got through this update. It actually hit and overnight it lost around 80% of its traffic. Now I thought that would be the end of it but slowly over the next few weeks, including the current update that's rolling out now, it is still declining. In fact, it's probably at about 90% loss of traffic right now. Now I have even heard and seen some examples of websites that's gone to zero. People are calling it ground zero, where they take a massive hit and then slowly it declines even further until eventually they're pretty much getting hardly any traffic at all. Now this looks like it might be the case with my travel website number one. So travel website number two was at around 60,000 page views per month before the September helpful content update rolled out. That dropped around 40%. So I thought, okay, I can manage that. That's not too bad. But again, it has slowly decreased and declined and now it's at about 60% and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down as well. So I did expect in this latest Helpful Core update, kind of HCU update part two, that I would actually see a reversal or some comeback in traffic. But again, nothing's happened. In fact, each day it just drops a little bit lower. 
And as you can imagine, my income has also been affected. So to give you an idea, kind of the income value for both these sites before the helpful content update, site number one in the travel niche with Mediavine for ads and hotel bookings and get your guide commissions and things like that was earning around 1,000 to 1,500 per month. Travel website number two was earning around 800 to 1,000. So between the two sites, I was earning around two and a half thousand dollars and it was climbing and it was all looking good. Right now, currently, travel website number one through Mediavine and hotel bookings is at around $600 and travel website number two is down at around $300 to $400. So I've pretty much lost around 70% of my income from this update. So that brings me on to what am I doing with my website and what's this news I was talking about at the beginning about a worrying trend I'm seeing. So the worrying trend I'm seeing at the moment is people offering advice to fix the helpful core update or help you figure out what's wrong in return for a financial reward or to sell you a course or sell you a conference call. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some people out there offering genuine, real, helpful advice, and there's no monetary value in it at all. Now, I'm not criticizing anybody who's selling advice for money. It's just that that advice needs to be the right advice. And at the moment, I'm seeing some really shady tactics about really making people worry about what's gone on, really awful emails that's making people panic and worry even more with the overtone that what they can do will fix it all. You just need to pay $1,000 for a conference call or you need to spend $2,000 on a course. And it's just such a shady practice to be doing right now because none of us really do know the answer. We know there are some things that's been highlighted that we need to change. There's some really good information about content and how to improve it, some on and off page SEO stuff that we need to look at some trust signals that we really do need to work on, and there is some genuine real advice that can help you. Now, I don't think any of that advice that they're giving you will fix your site instantly. And this is what I wanted to get across in this video. If you see these helpful advice, or you're sold a conferencing call to get advice, then fine, you can take that information on board and hopefully improve your website. It is what I'm doing. I am having conference calls with people. I am paying for somebody to look at all the very detailed technical SEO stuff on my website to hopefully improve it. But will they guarantee they can fix what's just happened? Absolutely not. Is there a magic button or something you have just not done on your website and if you fix it, all your problems will be sorted and all that traffic will come back? And the answer to that is, again, no. There definitely isn't. You know the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If there was somebody out there that could do one or even two things on your website and fix your traffic and it will all come back just like it was in September, they would be millionaires because everybody would be paying them to fix their problems. Like I say, I'm not outing anybody in particular. I just have seen some people that's actually in the industry really trying to milk this and I really think they need to be careful with what they're doing and the advice they offer, basically the promises they're making. Because I don't think it's any one thing or two things or maybe even five things that you can do on your website to fix the helpful core update. I think there are possibly hundreds of factors that Google has looked at inside this algorithm update that cause the effect on our websites. Maybe they will just roll it back. They're testing things out at the moment. They may actually do that. They might not. But I just want you to be careful about these false promises, that there is no quick fix in my eye. I've not seen any examples of somebody saying, hey, he jumped on a conference call with me. I paid him $1,000 and my traffic was back to normal instantly. That is not happening. And don't fall for those too good to be true promises. So finally, what am I doing on my website? Well, I'm not doing too much right now because in the last two months, we've already had two updates rolling out. And possibly any changes you might have made in the September core update might be different to what you need in the October core update. And there may be a different one in November and December. So currently, right now, I'm fixing any basic problems I can see, any glaring things that I can spot on my website that need doing, updating all content, internal linking, adding trust signals, 
a better user experience on the home page, a more structured and detailed menu, and doing things like that. Now, I'm not doing them because I think they will instantly fix the helpful core update hit. I'm doing them because I think they just need doing. I feel better knowing that these improvements have been made on my site, and I feel that it can only help the website in the longevity. In the years to come, it will be something that I don't need to worry about. There's also people talking about home pages and how you need to be a brand. Now, having a nice, clean, user friendly home page is definitely going to help the user experience. As far as Google's concerned, in my research, Google doesn't know how pretty your home page is. All Google will do is read the trust signals that your home page is giving off. For instance, you might hear people talk about having a shop or an e commerce site on your home page and websites that had one of those didn't get hit. Well, in Google's eyes, they see if you have a shop or you're selling a product, then you're usually more of an expert in that topic or that product. Because if you've got the product and you're selling it, you are a store, you physically buy and sell that product, then you're going to know what you're talking about. So it might see that shop button or that e-commerce store as a little bit of a trust signal. Again, things like adding author boxes and publisher schema and things like that is actually going to help, again, the trust signals from Google. I think my conclusion from this helpful core update is that two things need to be changed. Number one, the content needs to step up. We just really, really need to step up the quality of our content. And secondly, I think we need to back that up by helping Google understand who is it who wrote this piece of content? Why should I listen to them? Why should they be trusted? And who the heck is Carl? And is he even a travel blogger? Has he even been to the places he's writing about? And for that example, no. Google doesn't see me as a travel blogger, and it's something I need to change if I want to get Google to see me as an authority in the travel niche. So again, something that I'm working on. So helpful content, I know it's in the name, I know it sounds cliche, but definitely the quality of content needs to be stepped up. And secondly, we need to back that up with lots of trust signals to help Google understand that that is original, quality, unique piece of information provided by somebody who knows what they're talking about. So that's it for today's video. I didn't want to come across too negatively about the helpful information that's out there. I will share a link in the description to the most helpful free piece of content I have seen. An SEO expert that delves into data, hard facts, hard data. And that is one of the best free resources I have found. I'll leave that in the link in the description if you want to check that out. But for now, please take any advice you get with a pinch of salt. Everybody is guessing, educated guesses in some cases but nobody has the quick fix for this update. That is one fact I can pretty much guarantee. But hopefully some general advice will help you improve your website, improve your structure and the quality of your content. And overall, in the long term, it will only help your website out. So I hope you see some better results in the next couple of months. I hope that my websites increase again in the next couple of months. And I'll keep you updated if and when they do. But for now, good luck with your website and I'll see you in the next video.